Okay, welcome to week five of our special Get a Grip uh, series. Uh, I'm hearing good things about what's happening in your circles, as we like to, to call them, and uh, I know that the Lord's doing some good things. Welcome to anybody who might be new. There could be someone new there in your group tonight, and I just want to welcome you uh, to your circle. And uh, this week, we were talking about getting a grip on your money, on your wealth. And um, the Bible says this, for the love of money, this is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, for the love of money, and that's the key word, the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And some people craving money have wandered from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. And uh, boy, that, that, that's a great truth. Uh, you show me somebody who loves money. You show me somebody who craves money. And I'll show you somebody who's probably not in a good place in their life. They're not, certainly not in a good place with their walk with the, the, the Lord. And this week I, I shared with you um, four things about your money. The first one is, is that we ought to work hard for our money that God expects us to work hard for our money, and there's nothing wrong with working hard for your money, to earn more money. The second thing I talked about was, was that God wants us to save some of the money that we've worked hard at earning. And I kind of laid out why we save. We don't save money for security reasons. Our security is in the Lord. We save so that we might be a blessing to other people, that we would have some, some money in the bank if someone needed some help and, and, and we could help them. And the other reason we save is, is when you dedicate some money to go into a savings account, uh, it helps break the, um, the bondage of materialism in our life if you are setting aside some money. The third thing that I talked about was the idea that we ought to, you know, use a lot of wisdom when we spend our money. So work hard at making money, save some of your money, but, but be wise when you do spend your money. And then the last thing I talked about was the idea of generously giving some of your money away. And those were the four things that I talked about in the message, and those are the four things that I think you ought to wrestle around with and, and maybe share uh, which one of those you do well? Some of you, I'm sure, work really hard at earning some money. Maybe some of you have gotten a little lazy and, and maybe you haven't had a job in a while and you just haven't gotten out there and, you know, you know, we're beating the bushes. You stop beating the bushes or whatever. Maybe you don't save any money. Maybe you don't spend your money wisely. Maybe you don't give generously some of your, your money or wealth away. I don't, I don't know what it is, but have a great time tonight in your circle talking about getting a grip on your finances, your, your money, or your wealth, okay? Let me, let me pray for you. Father, thanks, Lord, for um, this message and what it meant to me in my own life. And um, Lord, I, I would hope that somehow your Holy Spirit would have worked in other people's lives. And this whole idea of working hard for our money and saving some of our money and, and being careful, using wisdom when we do spend our money and then giving some of it away. Lord, help us, God, to look at these principles, dialogue about these principles found in your word and that we would be different people, that we really would have a grip on our wealth, our finances, our money, Lord. Blessings on these groups tonight. I pray this in your name. Amen.